Welcome to today's webinar. Today we talk about the different types of power wheelchair platforms. There are three types, front, mid and rear wheel driven platforms and they all have their own specifications. This webinar should help you and your customer to select the right platform. There are three learning objectives for today. The first one is to recognize and to distinguish the three different power wheelchair platforms. You'll also learn about the decision criteria that are necessary when selecting the right platform. And you'll also be able to identify the benefits of each and every platform. We start with a historical perspective of power wheelchairs. In the mid-50s, due to an increased demand after the Second World War for independent mobility, Everest and Jennings were the first ones to mass-produce a power wheelchair. For their convenience, they selected the existing manual wheelchair with a cross brace to convert it to a power wheelchair. So it became obvious to have a rear wheel driven platform. In the mid 60s, we had Dr. Perudin from Permobil who initiated the development of a power wheelchair. In 1967, the first front wheel driven platform was created and Permobil was founded. Until the 80s, power wheelchairs were quite rare. But in the 80s, when microprocessors emerged and joystick controllers became possible, a larger group of users gained access to these type of devices. In the late 80s, the first mid-wheel driven platforms appeared on the market. By then, the mid-wheel driven platforms were focusing on indoor use and were not usable outdoors. In the 90s and the early 2000s, a lot of manufacturers developed new products. In 2012, Permobil came on the market with their first indoor-outdoor mid-wheel driven platform, the M300 and the M400. In 2017, Permobil came with the M3 and the M5, focusing on improving the driver experience for the user and improving the comfort. Before selecting the right platform, you need to understand the relationship between the assistive device, being the wheelchair in this case, and the user. The main objective is to select a wheelchair that best allows to carry out the daily activities. It is very important to have a good match between the product and the user. After all, a good match between the product and the user contributes to an increased level of participation. It can also contribute to an increase of health-related quality of life and you can avoid substantial financial costs related to wheelchair abandonment or when a user stops using his wheelchair. It is also important to know that in research the wheelchair is reported as the most limiting factor, followed by the physical impairment and the environment. The wheelchair is the most important mobility device for the user, but it's also the one that is mostly associated with the barriers. Users are identifying their wheelchair as more limiting than their physical impairment or their environment. They see inadequate technology as their limiting factor preventing them from doing more. When selecting a power wheelchair, users use their own decision criteria. But mostly you can separate them in six distinct groups. The first group is indoor usage and the maneuverability and accessibility indoors. Overall length and drive wheel positioning will determine the turning radius and targeting capabilities. The second criterion is outdoor usage. How does it behave when driving on different surfaces or at high speeds? Or how does it climb obstacles? The third criterion is the positioning of the seat. The position of the seat on the wheelchair base will determine the caster clearance and will determine where the center of gravity is located. The positioning of the seat can influence the overall length of the wheelchair, the knee angle and the capabilities of driving on softer surfaces. The fourth criterion is the comfort and how the wheelchair base can actually dampen shocks and reduce vibrations to contribute to a better comfort for the users. Stability is important for every user, 
but the different wheelchair platforms will behave differently when driving uphill or downhill. The last one, but a very important one for the user, is the intuitivity or the ease of use. Intuitivity is related to how many judging skills you need to experience a flawless ride with your wheelchair. With a front-wheel drive platform, users will experience indoors high accessibility due to a short turning radius and best targeting capabilities. Outdoors, this type of platform shows excellent obstacle climbing capabilities. It provides a good driving experience on different types of surfaces. At higher speeds, the front-wheel driven wheelchairs need electronic compensation to remain stable. Nowadays, the most of the front-wheel driven power wheelchairs are equipped with an ESP unit. The positioning of the user on a front-wheel base is ideal and it allows for the user to have a knee angle of 90 degrees which is important for accessibility reasons. Due to this short knee angle, it offers a very good functional approach to objects. Users experience a high level of comfort with front-wheel driven platforms. The center of gravity is located in between the drive wheels, which allows for optimal reduction of shocks and vibration by the suspension system. To the backwards direction, this platform is very stable. To the frontwards direction, this platform can experience stability issues, which can be solved by little anti-tipper wheels, preventing the users from tilting with the wheelchair when driving down on an incline, for example. The intuitivity of the front-wheel driven platform is considered as being very high. The mechanical rotation axis of the wheelchair is located very close to the anatomical rotation axis. Users using a mid-wheel driven platform will experience indoors also very high accessibility. The mid-wheel driven platform has the shortest turning radius and shows also very good targeting characteristics. Outdoors, the mid-wheel driven platform offers a stable driving experience at high speeds. On the other hand, driving over different types of surfaces and obstacle climbing can be experienced as more difficult. The positioning of the user on this base is good. It also offers the possibility to have a 90 degree leg rest angle, which offers the possibility for a close frontal approach. Comfort, especially driving outdoors, is the challenging part for this base. First of all, there are six wheels, which are points of contact to transmit shocks and vibrations to the rest of the power wheelchair and the user. The suspension system and the possibility to have air-filled tires have shown to be critical to increase comfort characteristics for the user. At the same time, at the stability level, this platform performs really well in the backwards and the frontwards direction. At the intuitivity level, this wheelchair is being perceived as the best option. The mechanical rotation axis of the wheelchair is located in exactly the same location as the anatomical rotation axis. The last platform to discuss is the rear wheel driven platform. This platform is known to have a large turning radius, which makes it less convenient for indoor use. The lack of targeting capabilities of this platform makes it also less usable indoors. When using this platform outdoors, Users frequently experience difficulties climbing obstacles. Driving on different types of surfaces, especially soft surfaces, is difficult and the power wheelchair has the tendency of plowing with the caster wheels into the soft surface. On the other hand, this power platform provides excellent handling at high speeds. The positioning of the user is less ideal on this platform. Due to caster clearance, the seat needs to be positioned much more frontwards, increasing the load on the caster wheels and reducing the capabilities of sitting with a knee angle of 90 degrees, which can influence the frontal approach. The perception of comfort on this drive platform is just as the front wheel driven platform very high. The center of gravity is located in between the drive wheels which allows the suspension system to maximize the comfort and reduce vibrations. At the stability level, the frontward stability 
of this power wheelchair is perceived as high. The backward stability of this platform is reduced. Especially when users are driving uphill or using the tilt function, the wheelchair can show the risk for tipping. Anti-tipper wheels will be necessary to preserve the safety of the user. This platform is also perceived as being the least intuitive platform. The mechanical rotation axis of the wheelchair is located behind the anatomical rotation axis of the user. This makes this platform less intuitive and requires better judging skills from the user, especially due to the wide cornering. So how do you weigh the results and how do you make your decision? Two decision criteria are generally seen more important than the other ones. Those two are the indoor driving capabilities and the intuitivity of the platform. Indoor driving capabilities are very important because they are directly related to accessibility and the most of the users spend more than 80% of their time indoors. Intuitivity is important because it's directly related to the ease of use of the product. The preference can be related to prior experiences but also to the handling capabilities of the product. To ensure that you make the right decision, we strongly advise to test the different types of platforms before making any decision. Thank you for attending this webinar. It was great having you. I hope to see you on one of the next courses.